Hi there. In this video, we will do an economic application of the chain rule and for that we will consider the example of a marginal revenue product and that will be with respect to labor MRPL so let's get started for that we should have a total revenue function because the marginal revenue product will be based upon the total revenue here we are the revenue function is given it's based upon the output but we know that the output is dependent upon labor. In order to get a level of output, we will need labor. So it means that we have to develop a function of output that we have developed here. That output gets determined by the amount of labor. We are noting this uh, function here and we are putting it here that is in the revenue function. So Instead of Q, you will see F of L as we go ahead. So here we are, F of L or Q of L means the same thing, but we have retained Q because we want to show that Q is that auxiliary variable which is involved in this chain rule sort of situation. Now, in other words, we, we can say that labor indirectly determines revenue via output. Because in our daily life, we can observe this, that in order to make some revenue, we have to produce something. And in order to produce something, we have to hire some labor. So when the labor will work, there will be output. And when there will be output, it will be sold, giving us some revenue. So in other words, having labor can give us revenue. So here we are, the same explanation written here. It's a situation of the chain rule because there are two functions. First one is this one. Second one is this one. And there are three variables. That is labor, output and revenue. For that the chain rule will uh, look like this. The effect of labor on output and effect of output on revenue getting cancelled. We will get the effect of labor on revenue. So the change in labor will lead to a change in output and that change in output will finally give us some revenue using this chain rule we can put the values uh, here another explanation is th written revenue due to labor is equal to marginal revenue into product due to labor here you can see that this is product due to labor or marginal product of labor and this is the marginal revenue and this is the revenue which is due to labor the additional revenue so these were this was the uh, simple explanation now we are going to convert it into its standard form we can write this as r bar l and we can write this as r bar q and we can write this as q bar l this is the marginal physical product product of labor which is showing the additional units in physical form this is the marginal revenue this is the marginal revenue product which is showing the monetary form of the additional revenue which will be gained once we have physical product getting multiplied with the marginal revenue so this is the way of understanding this relationship which is telling us that the marginal physical product of labor the additional units that we have produced if we multiply it with the marginal revenue that we are gaining from each of the physical product we will get this in monetary terms which will be known as marginal revenue product of labor because the marginal physical product of labor will have the units of some uh, physical form for example uh, kgs or liters and this will be in monetary terms so when we multiply this we will get a monetary answer which will be representing the marginal revenue product of labor so in this way this uh, marginal revenue product of labor can be found by using the chain rule and in this video we did the same symbolically we can also do this numerically if we are given the numerical forms of the revenue function and the output function thank you